I was kidnapped by the powerfulest people in Liverpool at that time. I was dragged into a jeep by Thomas Gilday, Joe McNally, Senior, George Bromley, Senior, Joey Platt from Bootley. I don't know if he, he's not alive no more. Joe Platt used to own Platt's gym on Hawthorne Road and Purple Aki. Mad meat. So this is what's happened. I think I've told you that story already, haven't I? Anyway, I got set up by Tommy. I think he was trying to see if he could trust me, right? So I was in with Tommy anyway, something happened with the, with the young daughter years before. And I'm, I'm in with Tommy now. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the Pazzy seat everywhere he's going in this. And this weekend, I'm only young now, don't get it twisted. I'm still 15, 16 or something, right? And this weekend, he's took me out, but he hasn't bought me nothing. But he's spoiled everyone else around us, but haven't bought me nothing. So I'm just carrying bags for every girl that come back to the house. And then what he's done, he's deliberately shown... What happened with Tommy? Every week, without fail, you'd have gangsters from all over the city coming with bags of dough and just dropping. And in Tommy's house, every so often, you'd have like 500 grand behind a couch or something, right? So what, what he'd done, he, he deliberately had something like 38 grand in a blue plastic bag and put it on top of the kitchen cupboard. No one I was watching. I'm a little pothead at the time, right? So uh, I'm there, I'm left in the house by myself. I'm waiting for my bear to come back, Kate, which was his daughter. But she's not coming back, so I'm just bored. I'm thinking about just getting off, but then I need weed. You guessed it, kid. You guessed it, didn't you? Right up on that cupboard. Bang, right in. Took a grand. Thinking he wouldn't miss it, yeah? <laughs> Thinking he wouldn't miss it, right? So anyway, I'm buzzing. Thinking I've got away with it. Sitting in Lee Savages with half of Rocky. Thinking, yeah. Thinking I'm the bollocks. <laughs> Anyway, before I know it, you're just getting BMW Alpinas and Jeeps. <laughs> They'd already been to me Mars and everything looking for me, you know I'm in my mates by Anfield's ground getting blitzed with Lee Savage and Chris Worthington, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so we all hear all these cars screeching everywhere, you know what So it is what it is. I'm just doing my thing. Next minute, it's time to go home. So I'm just walking home to me Mars. Got a little 350 in my back pocket off the graph that took, you know what Bought and I was a weed, thinking I'm mad. On my way home, next with a Toyota Land Cruiser. <laughs> George Bromley jumps out. Wow. He's the last person you want to see on a night day, on a night. You know what I mean? He's scary, man. He's dead now, and he got shot in the head or something. But he's jumped out. Joe Platt's jumped out. I mean, Joe McNally's jumped out. And Aki. Uh, I'm going to be I'm honest with you. Anyway, I'm manhandled into the back of this Jeep. I'm sitting in between Aki and George Bromley Senior. And I'll tell you now, I piss me pants, mate. <laughs> I piss me pants. I piss me pants. Now get on the twist. Get on this mad twist why they had the fate. Listen to why they had the force out. They had squads out looking for me, pure dormant and that, right? Tommy had forgot where he'd put the 38 grand. And he was blaming me for taking the 38 grand. He'd forgot he put the 38 grand on the top of the cupboard. And he was looking for me under the opinion I dropped 38 grand. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm not lying. It was fairy. I'm just thinking, what are you on about, Tommy? I haven't talked that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, get on what happens. I get up to the house and tell him where it is. He gets it. Count it and realise the grand's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm thrown on a kitchen table, knocked out. I've just been weighed in, knocked out. I get thrown on this big, massive round table that they had in the kitchen, like a solid oak one. I'm on that when I wake up, and Tommy's attacking me with a Chinese wok.
the Chinese walk last, smashing my knees and whatever and all this. I was lucky that Kathleen and Kate came back or I was dead, basically. I ended up in the cut. When I woke up and he's attacking me, when Kathleen and that's walking, I've seen that as an opportunity to get away, but everywhere was locked, so I've ended up in the corner with Tommy on the table like that. Bam! I'm in the corner getting smashed up by this table on my hips and that. <laughs> but anyway, Kathleen and I came in, screamed the house down, calmed the situation down, and that was it. I've gone back to my mask. Black eyes, all bruised up. I'm just sat on the chair in the corner, all bruised up. My ma's crying. Everyone's wondering what the dear. Next minute, there's a knock on the door. <coughs> I'm just thinking, oh, shit, this Tommy again. <laughs> and it was. I think he must have thought he was going to snitch. You're on it. So he's come down to, like, you know, calm down. You're on it. Come in. Add a little word with me. Da -da 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 -da. I want to speak to you tomorrow. Make sure you come back up to my house. I'm going, oh, hi, Tommy. He's giving me ma a grand. Yeah, Janet, sorry about the trouble. Du -du 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 -du. You're on it. Got SP Drip saying I'm lying. You little bell ends, eh? I don't lie like your bird. You know when your bird's banging your mate and she's lying to you? I'm not lying, yeah? This is all true. I'm like 17, 16 when this is kicking in, mate. <sighs> Mad. But that, that's when I got kidnapped by Tommy. I got kidnapped by the main men in the city, bro. So don't get twisted. What a boss man Tommy was, though, lad. Hey, proper dude, mate. Proper dude. Yeah, Bromley was executed, weren't he? In um, Charlie Sager's kitchen. Charlie Sager reckoned someone into the house without him knowing and shot him dead. So obviously set up. <laughs> Because what you've got to think about what George Bromley was. You know what I mean? George Bromley was like... Um, he was one of them... P, P, he was like a... He was like a... Stephen French. The equivalent from the north of Liverpool. Stephen French from the south of Liverpool. Bullied people. Taxed people. Robbed the... From north Liverpool. It was George Bromley Senior. Robbed people. Taxed them. Did da da All this. So... He's been around this Charlie Sager or something... He's upset a few people or whatever. He's gone round to Charlie Sager's on his mountain bike. Don't forget he's a man, but he's gone round on his mountain bike. He's sat in the kitchen of Charlie Sager's. And someone's come through the door that was open in the kitchen and blasted him to death. Set up. But that's what happens to people like that, people. You know, in the criminal underworld, you know, when you get individuals that are running around taxing people, intimidating people and, you know, really shaking people up. They just all get together and get rid of them. You know, all pissing the same pot to get rid of them. Poor George says, foot champ. Nice one for these ass people. It's very, very, very appreciated. I'm not shit. I've got no need to lie, have I? Why am I going to lie about such stuff? It can all be proved. Lion King thought it was Sonny. Thought what was Sonny? I killed him. Nah. Everyone knows who it was, mate. It was Joey and Lee. Two young up and coming doormen. Joey and Lee. Don't need to speak the next names. Everyone else knows them. 